All right, guys, we're back. Um, I mean, we didn't have enough time, to be honest, on that last one. So, I mean, call us what you want, part two of the rankings. We already went through our list. This is just really just me and Jordan just kind of talking it up here, determining, you know, what are some of these these, these rankings, why we're so different. Uh, so, Jordan, I mean, one of the things that I saw, and I have a question for you, man, like you have Kyle Pitts ahead of Jalen Waddle. So, I mean, tell me, I'm like, if somebody straight up offered you Jalen Waddle or Kyle Pitts for Jalen Waddle, are you making that trade? Listen, man. Some of these rankings might be a little off, but this is my thinking on it. Like, obviously, a lot of this stuff is all dependent on your team and who you've got. So, uh, me having Jalen Waddle, I wouldn't do the Kyle Pitts trade because I have Travis Kelsey, so it doesn't make any sense. But if I your didn't, team, yeah, for my team, that your wouldn't team make it doesn't sense. make sense. It doesn't make sense, right? But I'm saying, like, if I didn't have a tight end and I've got whatever, I've got three wide receivers, and and someone comes at me and says, "Hey, I'll give you." 10 years of awesome tight end for Jalen Waddle, then I'll probably do that. And I think that's what factored our, some of our listings. And I tried to be unbiased as possible versus my own team. Uh, because like you said, right. Oh yeah. I already have, you know, Kelsey, right. So I would never do that trade. It doesn't make sense to do that trade, right. Why give up your value? So when you're talking about trade value and where you're at with your team, of course, right. It's always going to go back to what do you have on your team? And what do you need uh, as that value, right? So some of that value is might be more. I'm obviously, apparently people think I'm a horrible trader, but value is on both sides, right? I send it, you accept, that's on you, right? But nonetheless, <laughs> <laughs> we'll save trade talk for another day. Uh, so, Get Adam so on, that, on that podcast. That's what we want to hear. So you had, you talked about honorable mentions. You had Devontae Adams, T. Higgins, DK Metcalf, Aaron <laughs> Not Aaron Rodgers. Is it Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, is there any other Rodgers? I don't think so. It's kind of threw me. He's pretty old. But uh, honorable mention, I get it. And then uh, uh, Pittman uh, there with the Colts. So I didn't make any honorable mentions. But I mean, just like when we're talking about those trades, I, I know uh, Brees Hall. You're telling me you would have Brees Hall over a certified, you already know what you're going to get out of Austin Eckler? The way I think of that is, uh, you know, and we don't know what Brees Hall is, but just the value of the the 101, that's a huge value pick. Uh, Austin Eckler, I think I mentioned, I don't know if, if we recorded that or not, but I think Austin Eckler, Derrick Henry, these guys only have two years left, maybe one year left, where if Brees Hall is awesome, like I think he's going to be awesome. I mean, you've got five, six, seven years worth of value there. Uh, I'd rather have, I'd rather have, Brees, I think, uh, it, like I said, roster construction, I think matters too. Okay. So do you, do you still have your list up? Yeah. So go with, through me with your one by one and I'll let you know my quarterbacks and how I have them break. I think we started off go with like through the, the quarterbacks. Four, through the quarterbacks. I think the first four. And then after that, we started to kind of vary, um, uh, you know, have difference okay. of opinion there. So start with your first four. So I went Mahomes, Allen, Herbert, Burrow. Okay, that's how I had obviously in different orders. And then who was your fifth quarter? Who's your different order? What's different? So no, no, no. So as as far as I mean, okay, well, okay, okay. overall position, right? So I still had okay. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow. So those are my okay. top four. So who was your fifth? Okay. Uh, Lamar. Lamar. Okay, so we're solid there. Who was your sixth? Kyler. Kyler. That's my sixth. And then I think this is where we we started j- jumping up because. After Kyler Murray, you went T-Law, right? I did. I might regret that. I went T-Law, then Dak. And then uh, Dak, okay. So with that exception, hindsight, Dak- I might rather have Dak than T-Law, just because of certainty, I guess. Um, but maybe, I don't know. So I think we're pretty solid there. And I'm pretty, you know, I mean, me and you, we do think alike. So as far as our quarterback rankings, we had one through seven for the most part. T-Law, you going back on it now. We pretty much had it the same. So let's do yeah. wide receivers because I think this is where we start jumping off. So I think the first yeah, that's way I, we're way different on wide receivers. I, I think the first two were, were solid because you went Justin Jefferson first. Yeah. And I had Jamar Chase second. Well, you know, Jamar Jam, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase. Who was your third yep. quarterback or wide receiver? My third wide receiver was Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. I went CD Lamb. And then who was your fourth? 
Uh, my fourth is C.D. Lamb, so that's not too far off. Oh, my bad. Third. Who was your third? Oh, it's, no. It's, so, okay, so your fourth is C.D. Lamb. My fourth was... My fourth uh, is C.D. Lamb. My fourth is Devontae Adams. So, that's... C.D. Lamb was close, but your Devontae Adams, I know you didn't even have him there. So, we, I know I, I went on that one. You had Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup, for yep. me, is six. Um, and then who was after... Cooper Cup because Cooper or you not after Cooper Cup who was after uh, so I go I go Justin Jefferson Jamar Chase Cooper Cup C D Lamb then I go three wide receivers in a row on my list Debo Tyreek and Jalen Waddle no love for Stefan Diggs getting older man getting older and he kind of had a down year last year too so it kind of shakes my faith in him a little bit and Gabriel Davis is kind of nasty. So kind of start to see them just shift a little bit there. I still, ah, man. Yeah. I mean, for me, it goes Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, CD Lamb, Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup. Um, and then I got Stefan Diggs and then uh, AJ Brown, Debo Samuel, Tyreek Hill. So that kind of winds out my. So you didn't my have, you there. didn't have Waddle on your list, your top 25 list. No Waddle. I didn't have Waddle. It didn't have water. And like I said, it came back to, I don't have any. All right, bro. All right, bro. So pause, 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 pause. Who's, who you got number 25 on your list? Dak Prescott. Okay. All right. So I guess I could. Then the one right below, before that, Joe Mixon. Okay. Okay. So would you rather have Joe Mixon or Jalen Waddle? I would rather have Joe Mixon. And here's the oh, reason why. God. Because after Joe Mixon, who's your running backs? Oh, so yeah. depending on when you're drafting, but we're, right? we're talking about, we're talking about looking down the future too. You you're talking 12, probably 12 years of Jalen Waddle, maybe not quite that long. Let's say, let's say eight years of Jalen Waddle or how long has Joe Mixon got left Two you guys, you got, you're going to think I'm crazy. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I still think running back regardless of dynasty is the most Maybe quarterbacks first, but running backs are the second most valued position. One, because, I agree. because they're hard to find, they're hard to draft, but they have such an immediate impact. And I think in that offense, sky's the limit. When you're not the first priority, he's not going to get as used as much, which I think will help him just as far as Joe Mixon. But nonetheless, for the next three to four years, I think you're going to get a solid, good amount out of um, Joe Mixon. Jalen Waddle. All right, bro. So, amazing... so, okay, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. on your hold on. list. Would you rather Brees or Joe Mixon? Brees or Joe Mixon? Again, I'm going Joe Mixon. I can't, right. I'm not, I, bro, you don't understand how much I went through my list and I was like, okay, who are these next guys? Would I rather have over? Right, so I'm either very faithful that shows you, or you I'm are. just completely crazy out of my mind. And you but like I'd these old guys. That. You'll probably be proven right this season, but I just I'm looking two years down the road. I don't want half these guys that are on your list two years down the road. And that's the thing is when we talked about on the previous you know podcast, but when to get rid of these guys. I'm in championship mode. Obviously, some of these guys are on my team. I maybe have four or five of these guys on on my team. Um, Hopefully, you know, this, this is, this is my year. Um, or, you know, maybe I, I will be dead last. We're not- Jackson and Jim <laughs> uh, Bro, don't. <laughs> Anyways, man, I mean, it's super exciting. I mean, there's so many different things, but that's how I was looking at it. I mean, I, I want to see Brees Hall. Brees Hall could be Jamarcus Russell 2.0, right? We don't know. Give me that certainty all day. I'm taking it. And that's just yeah. that's just where we're at. It's I'm it's curious hard to for see. Me. I'm curious to see in the like the remarks from the guys in the league. Um, so between the two of us, it's like the same, like whatever it is, like 30 guys or so. I'm curious who is our biggest dude that's not on either of our lists. I wonder who that is. For me, it'll probably be Waddle. I mean, he's definitely he could be a top 25. But I I've mean, got him. So I'm saying, like, between both of our lists, who are we not even thinking about that's got value? You know what I mean? I mean, it may be the rookie, maybe. I mean, I was contemplating several rookies at that 25 spot. I mean, uh, yeah. Drake London is definitely, if if he did what he did in college, he can definitely be right there. I honestly yeah. think, again, I drafted him, but uh, Jamison Williams, 
if he was as good as he was last year in college prior to his injury, um, when he had actually was the number one wide receiver, he could be easily that. So, I mean, there's just so much uncertainty, but I mean, it's hard to see because like I said, I did study my list. I mean, the only, I don't even want to say the only, but I mean, you think of Deshaun Watson, maybe, but like his is so uncertain. Like if he's actually playing, he's definitely top 25. I don't care how long he's going to be playing. If he doesn't get suspended, what we saw yeah. when he was actually playing, he's definitely worth being on the top 25 list. Maybe not this year. Who, Again, wants gotta, him, I, who wants him? That's a whole yeah. other question. Maybe I shouldn't even brought him up, but. Uh, no, I, yeah, I get it. I think between my you list. Who is not on either list, of our lists? It just hit me, bro. Nick Chubb. Do neither one of us like Nick Chubb? I like him, but okay, here's, I don't know why I draw the line here. He's getting old. I, I, I do think yeah. he's, he's, he's getting old. <laughs> he's younger than, he's younger than freaking Joe Mixon. Is he? I think so. I just, yeah. I don't, it just seems like he's Derek been Henry around. Too. It just seems like he's been around forever. And the, the only reason why oh, I had no. Derrick Henry on here is because I, I respect his game. Every year I'm like, oh, Derek I think he's Henry younger than CMC too. Down. Come on, bro. I got to check. We got to check. Right. I wish, let's see, Nick Chubb. <laughs> Let's see how fast this app can work. And I think let's wind up wrapping up our conversation yeah, that's cool. again today. Uh, let's see, Nick Chubb, 26 years old. And who was the other guy? Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon. How old's Joe? Come on. 25. 25. Oh. <laughs> Dang well, it. I just, I Actually, just... dude, that kind of changes my opinion on Joe Mixon a little bit. He's younger than I thought he was. Joe Mixon is pretty young. He's, I think he, we've seen a lot from him. Both of those guys. I mean, those are two guys that, I mean, coin flip. But Joe. Um, Quickly before we end, bro. How old is Christian McCaffrey? CMC. That's the same draft. Him and uh, Joe Mixon were the same draft. I'm curious. Uh, How old do you think he is? I would have guessed he's 27. He's 26. Okay. He's 26. Oh. Now, again, this is just according to the app. I don't know how. I mean, I would assume the app is pretty accurate. I don't know when these guys' birthdays are, so if they're going to be oh, yeah, that's fine. a year older during the season. But, again, it, it's it's a coin flip, in my opinion. I mean, these, these guys can go either way. So, super excited. Again, Jordan, I do appreciate you. Uh, I don't know why I got all dark here. All of a sudden, my, my lighting is very horrible. I promise I'm not this dark I in person. I can't see you anymore. <laughs> Man, I know. Let me smile. How about now? Can you guys say anything? <laughs> But again, Jordan and I appreciate it, man. I mean, I don't know how many days, but we're at the end of July, uh, June into uh, July. I mean, preseason is going to be here before you know it. Raiders kickoff versus the Jacksonville Jaguars for that Hall of Fame game. That's going to be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool to go to, I think. I'm not going. Yes. I'm not going. I'm not. Be pretty cool <laughs> you to go to watch some, some third stringers, bro? <laughs> Especially that one. Nobody goes. Mm. But I mean, I think just overall – and visit i mean if i would go to the hall of fame like in canton i would want to go during uh like the first preseason game like what is that like have you ever been yes man. the preseason been. game no 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 to, to the hall of fame no i've never been there no yeah so i mean i think it just as sports man i think we all gotta go but all right man yeah. i appreciate it jordan all right man deuces later <laughs>